Hello internet people. My name is Robert and I'm your website guy. So is creating a website for free? Well, yes it is. And actually I have a video where it takes you about 20 minutes to do all of it. I'll leave it in the description. But before you go there, in this video, I'll explain why you shouldn't do it. If you're serious about building a proper website, making some money out of it, and also not just wasting your time with the free stuff. And I'll propose some cheap alternatives so you can start your website with minimum investment. So you don't end up like this guy. Tips with punch. All right, if you're just building a website for your personal use or maybe school project, or maybe you're practicing to code, free website is totally fine. But for the rest of you, please at least consider buying the domain name. It's much easier to change the web hosting later but changing domain name, that's a bit trickier if you already have some traffic on your site. Let's start with the free domain, which is the website name you type in the browser bar. So youtube.com is a domain name. For example, freenom.com provides free domains. These are usually domains that end in .ga, .ml or .tk and few other options. By now, these domains are already associated with spammers. Maybe not by people, but by companies like Google. And you might not be considered as trustworthy. Arnie, what do you do to spammers? <laughs> I destroyed them. <laughs> now, do you know what's the worst part of it? Freedom has the right to take your free domain and sell it to somebody else. Now, I don't know if this happens too often, but it's a risk. What about services like Blogger, WordPress.com or Wix? and other similar website where you can get a free subdomain. So something like yourdomain.wordpress.com and I have here an example website like that. Well, it's a subdomain. You could potentially get ranked, but most of the SEO juice goes to WordPress. Since that's the main domain, Google just prioritizes the, the primary domain over everything else. So you already have a slight disadvantage in a very competitive market. You can get really good deals for .com domains for the first year. For example, GoDaddy sells them under $2. Now, just be careful that the following years, that's all going to change uh, because it's like $20 after that. But you can always switch to Namecheap or some other cheaper provider. And on the screen here, you can see example of this offer. But be aware if you don't take privacy protection with GoDaddy or other domain registrars, your details will be registered in Whois database, which is publicly available. So you might start getting calls like this. I need some money immediately. Money? This is not a bank. I know. And notice that this deal is only for the first year and then the price jumps to $17. But the cool thing is that you can always move your domain after the first year to a cheaper provider like Namecheap. I recommend using Namecheap to get a cheap domain and they offer free privacy protection already with it and the renewal rates are almost the same as for the first year. I'll leave a link in the description. So what about web hosting? That's the place where basically you store your files for your website and other people can access that website and see it online. The internet has like millions if not billions of websites and it's super competitive to try to get traffic to your site through Google. So not getting a good web hosting means you have a disadvantage to your competitors. It's like going to a battle with Turkish Rambo instead of the real Rambo. He looks kind of the same from far, but you'll never know where is he shooting. Here's a few reasons why. With the free web hosting, the website is slow to load because you don't get that much bandwidth with the free plans and there's just a lot of people on the same server and indirectly Google doesn't like that the page loads slowly. It's kind of a ranking factor with Google. You also get limited or no customer service. I know you don't need this every day, but time to time you'll need some help. And this is where it's really helpful to have somebody to help you out. And also you have very limited features such as no SSL certificate or maybe restricted upload sizes or you can't upload certain plugins for WordPress or whatever that is. There's always something with these. But I think you get the point already with this. But hey, at least it is. It's free. It's free. It's free. It's free real estate. All right, you're probably wondering, what's a cheap solution for web hosting then? Well, here it is. Again, you can get a web hosting for a year for under $20. Now, there are several options for a cheap web hosting, 
for example Namecheap or Hostinger. I'll leave a link to both of these in the description. But I'm a bit biased because I'm a fan of uh, Namecheap. I've been with them for a couple years. All my domains are there. I'm really happy with the service. My web host is actually HostPapa, but I didn't include that because it's a bit more expensive than uh, Namecheap. But if you're interested, you could check that out as well. As you can see, I'm not a big fan of free websites. What about you? Are you going to get a free website? And let me know in the comments, how do you feel about this? My name is Robert and if this is your first time here and you want to learn more about how to improve your website, get more traffic and other website related stuff, make sure to hit that subscribe Ding button dong. so you don't miss out on anything. And here are two videos you could watch next. In the first one, I'll explain how to buy a domain name and a web hosting and then set up a website. And in the second one, I do the same, but with the free web host and a free domain.